What's good y'all, Rubs here. Today's hardware review features the Icon B1 standard DE safety razor. This was uh, loaned to me by a generous Redditor. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your uh, generosity in sending this over for a review. Many of you know Icon is the uh, one of the pioneers in the uh, stainless steel safety razor space. They're a US based uh, operation They've been around as long as I've been wet shaving, which is uh, over five years. Um, couldn't quite find when they established themselves, but uh, they've been around a long time. Um, they pride themselves on bringing uh, the vintage DE into a uh, modern look and feel. Um, they're available through their website, also at maggardrazors.com, Connaught Shaving in the UK, as well as Barbier Uniti. Uh, for you international customers. So the B1 standard, as you can see, is a uh, safety bar style razor with the uh, proprietary B1 coating. B1 coating is a uh, coating aimed to prevent water staining on stainless steel. Uh, even high grade stainless steels can have water staining. It also adds a uh, corrosion protection to the uh, stainless steel. Um, this is machined to very tight tolerances. I'm going to take it apart now so you can see uh, the blade loading. There's absolutely no play when you put a blade in this. Uh, it's a tabbed post design, which you'll see here in a moment, whereby the top cap has the tabbed posts. Blade sits in there. Absolutely no uh, ability for the blade to uh, not center itself. No, uh, no tab sticking out here. As soon as you torque this razor down, there's absolutely no play or chatter in this blade. The head itself weighs uh, 31 grams. So paired with a uh, bulldog style handle and you'll be at about 108 grams or so give or take depending on your uh, model of Bulldog. This happens to be a Maggard Razor's uh, Bulldog style handle. So the uh, Icon B1 standard is an aggressive razor um, as billed on the website if you check it out. Um, it's got a lot of blade feel. Nice audible feedback on the uh, razor itself. I'd say the efficiency, while it's an aggressive razor, it's only about a mid-efficient razor. Uh, keep in mind that when I gauge efficiency, I'm looking to do a uh, single pass against the green dome shave uh, with minimal buffing required to uh, complete my shave. Uh, so this comes in at about the mid-level in terms of efficiency. I have to buff a bit more than I'm accustomed to with some of my more efficient razors. <clears throat> the uh, razor takes on a uh, natural angle in order to get to the uh, sweet spot where you'll be cutting hair. Um, the sweet spot is quite narrow um, despite the uh, ex blade exposure. The, um, the sweet spot's very narrow. You need to really you know find it and stay with it. You can't uh, make many adjustments without uh, the razor not cutting uh, because the safety bar does do its job for you. Um, I don't find I can put this in cruise control simply because the uh, amount of uh, blade exposure and the narrow sweet spot. I need to remain focused on the shave in order to uh, maintain the right angle. Uh, the razor doesn't bite uh, easily but um, you can easily get out of whack and you'll just be uh, pushing leather rather than cutting leather so it does require a level of focus that some people uh, may find cumbersome I, I don't but uh, I shave my head daily um, so using this for the last few days I've I've not had any issues with that uh, overall it definitely gets the job done uh, I wouldn't call it an unsafe or bitey razor. Um, I just wish it had a bit more efficiency in order for me to not have to buff so much. Anytime 
you're buffing and uh, putting the blade on your skin that's you know more room to cause irritation or perhaps a uh, a neck or weeper if you will all right so uh nice dome shave tonight uh no irritation no nicks no cuts feeling smooth um little extra buffing got me, got me where i want to be um i do like the uh icon uh b1 standard uh not enough for me to go out and grab one but i can see this a as a used as a daily driver for those that do enjoy uh, aggressive razors and uh those looking to do you know two or three passes this will definitely get the job done in terms of efficiency with two or three passes uh it's just not suited for me with my uh one pass against the grain uh, dome shave method, which from what I understand is quite uncommon. So if you're interested, check out Icon Razors. They have quite a few uh, razor offerings from fully assembled razors, uh, heads only, handle only, and accessories to boot. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.